greedy learners in this video you are going to learn number strand of igcse in igcse both 0580 and 0607 uh, past paper questions we are going to solve uh, we are going to solve almost three questions which covers 25 marks so let's get into the video and this video has the solving questions of number strand okay let's start with the first question the first question is Herman bought a motorbike on 1st January 2014 by 1st January 2015 the value of the motorbike had reduced by 16 percentage by 1st January 2016 the value of motorbike had reduced by 12 percentage of the value on 1st uh, January 2015 the value of the motorbike on 1st January 2016 was uh, $7,392 so we have the 2016 values and we have to go back in my previous videos I have mentioned or uh, if you are new to my channel then you can just make a note of it whenever you are going to find out the previous values backward calculation if you are going to do like a from 2016 to 2015 or 2015 to 2014 you have to do uh, you just have to remember this formula in your mind that is value divided by percentage so if you are going to do the further calculation like forward calculation if you're going to do percentage multiplied by value but here uh, since we are going to calculate it in the backward value by percentage is what the formula that you're going to use it to solve this problem Then it is going to be very easy actually. So now they said that cost of 2016 was 7392 So that is the value uh, Whole divided by we'll check uh, how much percentage it is uh, Actually, they said it is 12 percentage reduced which means uh, initially uh, it let us take that as a hundred percentage if it is 12 percentage reduced then this cost is 12 percentage lesser than the previous one when you are considering the previous value as hundred because usually we will consider that the standard value is hundred it is 12 percentage lesser so that it is going to be 88 percentage so this 88 percentage in uh, for the calculation may be you can use 0 0.88 instead of this 88 percentage so if you put this value like a value divided by this actual percentage after its reduction or increase then you will be getting you are getting the answer as 8400 actually now we have got the value of 2015 because from 2016 to 2015 we have gone now and from 2015 to 2005 14 we have to go because uh, Herman bought a bike on 2014 and we need to find the cost how much he paid for the motorbike so 8400 itself actually it is 16 percentage reduced from the beginning value previous value so 16 percentage reduced if the previous value will be 100 then if you are reducing 16 percentage then it is going to be 84 percentage so we will be doing 8400 divided by 84 percentage or you can even write it as 0 0.84 uh, maybe you can uh, uh, do it easily by typing it in the calculator then we are getting the answer calculator value as ten thousand dollar so he paid ten thousand dollar for the bike right so just keep it in your mind value divided by percentage how to calculate the percentage if they have mentioned it it's reduced reduce it from hundred if they mentioned it it is increased increase it from the hundred like we will see it in the further questions Let's go to the next one. Uh, the subdivision B is from 2016. The value of the motorbike reduced by 8% each year. So every year it's in decreasing constantly by 8%. Calculate the number of complete years it will take for the value motorbike to decrease from 7392 to $5,000. $5, so 7392 is the principal value since it is reducing every year by 8 percentage it is actually a compound interest uh, so we know the compound interest formula is 1 plus r by 100 power n is what we are going to use it that is equal to amount uh, here instead of plus we will be using minus it is because uh, reducing so 1 minus is what we will use it and if you use it in the exact formula actually you will be getting a 1 minus 8 by 100 power n and 1 minus 8 by 100 if you simplify it you will get 92 by 100 
and 92 by 100 we are going to write this as uh, 0.92 because that will be easy to substitute it in the calculator power t right p into 1 plus r power 100 power t equals the amount they amount they said that the, the final value also it should be 5000 you can ask me how that value is reduced to because the motor bikes cost is reducing every year so the final value is reduced to 5000 uh, so for these kind of calculations so what you have to do 0 0.92 power t is alone you will keep it here that value which has power then rest of them will go to the right side so 5000 divided by 7392 then I will be telling you one formula always if you have to find out the value of t always use this log of this right side value that is nothing but log of 5000 divided by 7392 whole divided by log of the base it is 0 0.92 if you do this you will get to know that exact value actually in calculator we are getting it as 4.688 and how many number of complete years it will take to reach 5000 it is complete years is going to be 5 so that's it actually these are the only four steps calculations that you will be doing and you will be getting four marks that's it we'll go to that next one so second question is rias invest 5000 dollar at a rate of 2.5 percentage per year simple interest so he is investing it in the simple interest calculate the value of the investment at the end of four years so value of the investment we have to find so for simple interest interest equal to prt by 100 so p is 5000 and the rate of interest is 2.5 and the time is four years by 100 so if you put these values in the calculator simply we are getting the answer as 500 I could have written the directly it here 500 but they asked the total value of the investment they have asked so 5000 is the principal interest alone 500 so we will be getting 5500 next calculate the number of complete years it will take for the value of the investment to be 6500 so in simple interest we cannot do like the previous one uh, like when this 7392 will become 5000 so that directly we have equated with 5000 but that is not possible in the simple interest because in simple interest always in the formula you will be getting only the interest that's why in the previous calculation I have got the interest then after that I added with the principal and I got to know what is the uh, total value it is 5500 so in the same way if I try interest alone I'm getting 5500 because he's investing five thousand dollar which means his interest alone should be thousand five hundred so in the formula I'm going to equate it P that is five thousand rate of interest it is two point five into time that is what I have to calculate whole divided by hundred is equal to thousand five hundred so when I'm simplifying this actually I'm getting T equals 1500 divided by 125 I'm getting and that is exactly equal to 12 years because I, I can simplify that here 2020 then 15 to 2.5 is 125 and if it goes that's it it will divide 1500 divided by 125 is 12 so to get that interest amount as 1500 we need to wait for 12 years right yeah let's go to the next one Yasmin invest $5,000 at a rate of 2% per compound interest per year compound interest so they mentioned it's compound interest calculate the value of Yasmin's investment at the end of 4 years actually in the compound interest directly will get the investment value that total amount will get it so in the formula if I substitute 5000 into 2 percentage so 1 plus r by 100 is the formula so r by 100 is 2 by 100 2 by 100 we can write as 0 0.02 when I'm adding this with this one I will be getting 1.02 so 1.02 you can see it in this previous question I have used that as 0 0.92 because it reduced by 8 percentage so that we have written as oh, 0 0.92 but here actually it is increasing so that 1.02 and we have to find for four years so actually that's it if you put these values in your calculator we are getting the amount as 5412.16 uh, 
um, usually we'll write the answer to the three significant figure but still since it's a cost we can write that to uh, two decimal places answer since they did not give any condition here uh, the next one is calculate the number of complete years it will take for the value of Yasmin's investment to first be worth more than 6500 so it's not like only the interest we have to take it like the previous one uh, here we will be directly equating because it's compound interest so it is actually increasing 5000 1.02 is the interest uh, power t that actually we don't know we need to calculate it it is equal to 6500 so how we did for that motorbike cost in the same way we will be doing it is 1.02 power t is equal 6500 all divided by 5000 so if you simplify this so i told you before itself if you want to find out that index value it is nothing but log of 6500 divided by 5000 whole divided by log of 1.02 so if you put this in your calculator actually we are getting 13.2 actually the value should go more than uh, 6500 and uh, number of complete years so that 13.2 but to go more than 6500 and the complete years it will be 14 years right yeah so the next one is uh, write the number 25.0467 correct to one decimal place so one decimal place is here actually which means we'll be getting the answer next digit is 4 so it's going to be 25.0 uh, the next one is correct to 3 significant figure 1 to 3 significant figure also the same uh, it is 25.0 and whether some of you will be having the question when we are writing the significant figure whether we need to consider the 0 or not if the 0 comes after the non-zero value you should consider it then correct to the nearest tens so tens digit is here if you're it's greater than i mean it's five actually we should add one with it it is going to be 30 then because two plus one is 30 uh, correct to the nearest is 0 0.001 which means in 25.0467 001 says this digit so if you're rounding it's bigger than five so we should add one with it it is going to be 25.047 will be getting as answer next one we should write it in the standard form whenever you are going to convert any number to the standard form just take only the integral part i mean in these part you have to write it is 25 25 you will be writing as 2.5 into 10 to the power 1 because one digit we are moving to the left so it's going to be 22.5 into 10 power 1 next we should convert the centimeter to meter uh, centimeter to meter is divide by 100 uh, if you divide it by 100 we'll be getting the answer as 0 0.2 uh, meter square to centimeter square actually we should multiply by 100 meter to centimeter since it's square we have to multiply by 100 square so here 40 already 10 it's going to be 5 zeros so 1 2 3 4 5 zeros it will be 200000 centimeter square then last question of this video 18 kilometer per hour into meters per second so 18 kilometer from kilometer to meter we will be multiplying it by thousand per hour actually this r is in the denominator so that uh, hours to seconds if you have to convert we have to multiply by 3600 actually that will not happen in the numerator because this hours is already in the denominator so whatever the calculation that we have to do we should do it in the denominator and we have to multiply it by thousand three thousand six hundred so um, nothing is in the denominator so we are adding just the denominator and when we are simplifying this we are getting five meter per seconds yeah actually all the questions we have solved it we'll see in the next video okay if you have any doubts in this uh, video you can ask your doubts in the comment section if you're new to the channel subscribe the channel and you can share this channel with your friends if you like it like it thanks for watching